Hi guys, Glader here. So a little while ago I was working on some Spyro stuff in Unity 3D, and it never really went anywhere. But today, or the past few days, I decided to sit down and write some tools for Unity 3D that allows you to bring in content from WoW, or not WoW Model Viewer, Spyro World Viewer, to bring it into Unity and sort of get it set up. So I, I wanted to avoid having to do anything in modeling software. Well, I don't have anything against modeling software, I just prefer to work in Unity if possible. So I've written a quick tool that can apply the vertex colors in Unity itself. As you can see, we've got a very ugly looking map here that looks a little off. It would be a lot darker, but uh, the shader I've written is sort of making it kind of bright. But we'll go ahead and just apply the vertex colors and we'll see the, the difference. That was pretty significant. I think. And so, we've got the vertex colors, we'll go ahead and run this. So we're running at 4K, not that it matters, but just for fun. Uh, it's not perfect though, as you can see. There's some areas where I need to maybe come up with some clever way to blend uh, disconnected meshes. As you can see, these are separate meshes. I have to blend these edges somehow. And there's also areas that should have some color, but uh, don't for some reason. And that's disappointing, and I'll have to look into solutions for that. Something that we also gain in Unity, which brings a little bit of um, a, a little bit of beauty to, is we've got. I've also so I support vertex colors, lighting and also uh, light maps in the shader that I've written. And so we can get some nice shadowing there. It's a little bit noticeable. It doesn't, doesn't really conflict too much with what you expect from Spyro. And we also get uh, interiors. Interiors have actual, they aren't black or dark, even though if you check the light maps, you think they should be. But we get the ambient, we get the lighting from the vertex colors as ambient lighting essentially. And so these places aren't very dark. Although I would like to make them a little bit darker than they currently are. So I'm going to look into that. But yeah, so just a pretty s simple tool that almost works, but not quite. Um, there's also some UV issues. I haven't looked into how to solve these yet. It's, it's really disappointing, but I just think the texture atlas isn't really prepared because there's no... I forget what it's called. Edge padding? I can't remember if what that's what it's called, but something isn't right. It, this is appearing even without any bilinear or trilinear filter. So, yeah, so it's not perfect, but that's what I have right now, and probably within the next few minutes, I'm gonna upload Dark Hollows, so stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. That's all for today. Just a quick little tool. Oops. Where you can add vertex colors to Spyro Maps in Unity. Thanks for watching.